Hello YouTube, today I want to talk about the making of videos in YouTube and here I am in 1867, you may recognise the scene from the game and you may wonder, how do you get the screen to look so tidy? Well, I've learned a few tricks over the last few weeks and now many of my newer videos are much better than the very first videos that I produced, in fact the very first videos that I made and uploaded on this channel look quite embarrassing compared with some of my later videos and I'm sure as I learn new skills and speak with other YouTubers I'm going to pick up a lot more skills to make my videos even better. First of all I remove clutter, remove the cursor and remove the toolbar. I do that by using these two scripts, a hide cursor script and a hide toolbar script. I'll just place those inside the starter player scripts folder. There they are. And to remove clutter from the base screen, I'll empty the entire contents of starter pack. So I'll click on delete. And there they are, they've gone. Let's look at the screen now and see how it compares having removed the starter player pack and also by adding those two additional scripts. And you can see here, there's my cursor normally and if I move it into the window oh it's gone I can't see what I'm doing so I'm really acting blind now I've got to guess where my mouse cursor is in order to activate things on the screen such as the cam however if I want my mouse back I have to wiggle it about ah there it is and then drag it to the side of the window so I can then go back and uh, use the menus. So that removes the clutter from the screen. And one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to produce, produce a fly cam effect. And that, the problem is when I go into play and I move my uh, avatar around the screen, sometimes my avatar jumps as it walks over some obstacle, maybe a lump of dog pure or plant or a raised curbstone. So what I have done is in my later videos I've rest a part in world. Let's look at that. There it is. Click on scale. I'm going to drag it and make it really big. Click on scale and drag it. And I'll also drag in both the x and z directions and then what i do is i've been raising the spawn site let's find that up it's inside miscellaneous there we are miscellaneous spawn location got it there it is i've raised the spawn location to be just above this part and then I've anchored this part and made it transparent so that when I play the game in future, I'll do it now, test, play, I'll land on top of a transparent part and so when I walk around, I'll actually walk around in the air as you can see here. There I am, I'm now walking on that transparent part. So, finally, what I do is to, to produce the cam, fly cam effect, I go into mouse mode and then just move my avatar in a straight line while I'm talking and doing the video. Let's go and try that again. I'll just move my avatar in this direction, click on the forward arrow button. And there we are, my avatar is now moving across the screen at a constant speed, but it does produce a really nice fly cam effect so that I can fly over the houses and the, the roofs of the houses in 1867 and have this lovely fly cam effect as I'm talking on the video. So let's quickly get out of mouse look. There we are, back to my avatar again and I'll exit the game 
and say, well, now you know that some of the tricks that I use when I produce YouTube videos. So, I'm sure I'll learn a few more in the future and make the videos even better. But for now, I'm going to say bye YouTube and don't forget, subscribe.